Here's a Holmes heater. Uh, my dad found this thrown out years ago and he said, here, here's a heater. There's nothing wrong with it except for a little bit of cosmetic damage to the grill on it. It was always rattly. This has made cameo appearances in a number of my videos over the years. Uh, I did run this on low on the Harbor Freight 700 watt generator. This one in particular, it's just a tall, big, bulky thing. It's really obnoxious, this thing, really. And the information, model HQH308, it looks like, from here. 1500 watt, made in China, of course. Has a circuit breaker reset sort of a handhold thing on the back but I usually just grab it by its sort of handle looking thing like that and that's really it uh, let me go ahead and get the cord out of the way and we'll go ahead and kick it on these are the controls now this has a digital control panel but it's it's weird it, it doesn't work right, as you might expect. My dad painted the little knob indicator in green for whatever reason. And it has low and high. Now this takes a long time to heat up. It has quartz glass tubes in it. You can sort of see them in there, one on each side. So we'll turn it on. It's a little noisy. And the tubes don't really light up much in on low. I am feeling a little bit of heat from each side. Barely. So this takes like a good few minutes for it to really warm up. The control panel is up here. Like I said, it's digital. And it doesn't work right. This is not a smooth turning knob. It has like detents. And when you turn it, it kind of sort of works. See, it'll even shut there. So I just leave it set to high and that's it. Oh, it actually does have a finite amount that it turns. Yeah, it has a finite amount that it turns. It's certainly getting warm now, but let me let this cook for a couple of minutes and uh, I'll put the temperature thing on it. Uh, on low, they actually do glow a little bit. It seems brighter and then it gets dimmer here, but I don't think the camera makes that out. Certainly putting some decent heat out. Although it's bulky and tall and stuff like that, because you have that surface area, it really throws the heat out pretty well. And now with the light on, you can actually still see it. And we're getting 370 degrees, 350 degrees. 340, 50, about 350, call it. Somewhere in there. And it's using 530 watts. This is a 1500 watt heater, so you have your choice of a 500 watt element or a 1000 and a 500 watt element and I don't know what that's going to pull when I switch it over to high but let's go ahead and do that now now it's on high they will glow brighter and we're using 1350 watts so let me let that cook for a little bit now we're glowing nicely that's what it looks like on high you can see the tube if I come to the side like that kind of like a toaster oven kind of element type thing and it is putting out the heat indeed certainly is and we get over temp if I get too close it just craps out it's showing about 426 degrees so it's really throwing out some nice heat well over 400 and 400 degrees I don't know what this thing goes up to but uh, that was this heater and I keep this in the garage um, it just 
it works well in there for whatever reason. I usually put this on when I have to go snow blow in that. So we're gonna have to be doing that in a couple uh, couple of months. Shut it off and they take a while to dim back down and go out. And for it to cool off, the handle thingy on the front is no longer a handle. Uh, so you can't now pick it up with that. You have to use that handhold thing in the back. Anyway, that was this Holmes heater. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.